All right, so here's how you do it. Go into the App Store. You're going to look for Libby. Type in Libby. The app looks like this. Download it. Give it a minute. Open it up. You can add as many cards as you want to on here. Um, if you have one, you click here. I have library cards at every library I could possibly get one from. Um, if you have a Kitsap Regional Library card and you happen to be visiting Seattle, pop into one of the Seattle Public Libraries, grab a Seattle Public Library card, get one in King County, get one in Pierce County, get one in Timberline. You can use all of them in this app. Okay, once you get in, you're going to give it your library card information. You can do that for all of the different library cards you have. The reason I do that is sometimes digital content is not available from one library, so then you can just pop on over to another within the app, and lots of times what you want will be available from one of the different library systems. Okay, now once you log in, um, I've renamed this card Kids App. Click Next. Now you can just start searching. Let's say I want to find Tom Sawyer. For example, you click Tom Sawyer, scroll down. If it has the little audio um, ear or AirPods, that means it's an audiobook. If it does not, then that means it is an ebook. Okay. For example, right here it says place hold. That means that the it, the library does not have a copy available. This one says borrow, so it does have a copy available. Um, that's again why I think having lots of different library cards is a is a great thing. So if I click back up here in the corner, it's going to tell me what all my library cards are. If you have more, or you can click add a library right here and it will give you you know opportunity to log into all of your other library cards. All right, and if you need any help, send me a message.